Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome back to Mage Knight. This is the next turn. It's actually the end of night last turn. So it is the day after Boxing Day for us in Australia. So we're like a day before the US and that part of the world. So Merry Christmas to those people who've just had it. And I actually have a day off today. Did all the crazy family stuff over the holidays and now everyone's out of the house and I'm having a nice relaxing day alone, which is, you know, guy holiday, let's be honest, having a day to yourself. <laughs> anyway, the point is uh, I edited the last Mage Knight video and now I'm playing this video straight away. So I won't have time to incorporate any rules mistakes that you guys noticed in the last video. But I noticed a mistake. I forgot, oh wait, I've got to, I've got to jump into the black seat, don't I? I did notice that I didn't use this ability before the end of the turn. So I'm just going to do that. It gets a little white crystal. I think I actually might have said that this also healed me, but I got it confused with uh, this one here that does the heal. Anyway, the point is white crystal into there. Now, there's another thing that we should talk about. Basically, when I set this game up, I set up what was called Rampage or Heavy Rampage or something. It was one of the Rampage options. Now, I thought the mod was going to do it all for me, but it hasn't been doing it. So maybe I didn't click it right or I did something wrong. But the way it's supposed to work is that for every rampaging location, you roll die at the start of, at the end of the night or at the end of the day, and it draws new, it has the possibility of drawing new enemies into those areas, sometimes even brown enemies. Now, the way it works is if we look at the rules, Basically, you start with two minus reputation. I don't know, and I don't think it actually did that, but I'm just I'm just going to move on. Who cares about that? But actually here, during the day, we roll warm colors, which is red, green, gold. And at night, we roll cold colors, which is white, blue, and black. Oh, a lot of thunderstorms going on. <laughs> anyway, if you roll a gold or a black, you actually place an additional brown token. So not only do you place a new green token, you also place an additional brown token and they are considered double token when you attack them. Basically, I'm going to continue to do that from now on, starting with this day cycle, but I'm going to have to do it manually. Now, I don't know if the mod is supposed to do it or, and I just didn't set it up right, but the mod hasn't been automating that thing, which surprises me. Anyway, the point is we're going to do it. So... Basically, we're good to go. I'm just going to zoom in so we can see all the magic. I'm going to hit the claim rewards button and it should switch us to day mode. You blammo. You whoosh. Wow. Look at the, look, look at the die. <laughs> we completely <laughs> thrown, thrown off the thing. Right. So that is that. It's now daytime and now we're going to roll for our Orcs. So there's one, two. Didn't I kill that thing? Didn't I kill this guy? Did I not? I could have sworn I killed that. Oh, maybe it is doing it. How do I turn on this chat window? Five. Rampaging tokens have been replenished. It is actually doing it. I just have never noticed. So I guess it's working. I take that all back. It is doing it. So that was placed this turn. We rolled four times and only one to one token got replenished. I take it all back. It's actually doing it. Okay, let's get on with this. <laughs> so, uh, it's Athena's turn. She has a pretty dodgy hand here. We do have the tome. Now, she wants to go into here, basically. And I think the best thing for her to take is planning. I reckon that's my favorite uh, skill for the daytime tactics. Norwez is going to take Mana Steel because that's the second favorite. And he, he's got an automatic crystal generation here. So he's got a white and he's got reds. So I think he's going to take a green like so. Got lots of wounds in this guy's deck. Now this guy is in a, these guys are in a weird position. So they're both going to be going to this location. Now, I don't usually do player versus player combat when I play the solo variants, solo competitive 
you know, mode that I play on my YouTube channel. And that's because I know both the hands, which makes it very boring. And it's a complicated process, particularly, you know, when you play it solo and with knowing each other's hands, it sort of makes it really lame. So I don't really do it. But if you'd like to see player versus player combat, I will take the opportunity to do that at some point in the game. But unless you do particularly want it, I'm just not going to bother with it. So he's at least got to go three moving out and she needs to do three moving out. So we got a decent amount of move here. I think he's going to take the right moment. And what's she got? She's got, there's no blue. I think she's going to take rethink. So rethink, we can discard up to three cards. So let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. And let's get rid of that one. Boom. Okay, so we've still got a pretty, pretty dodgy hand. Okay, so we're ready to start, and it is Wolfhawk Norwez. Oh, something else I'm going to do is I'm just going to change Norwez to blue, a kind of blue color. I'm going to change him to an. Uh, going to change her, make her pink, and then make this guy orange, and then make her white. Make this girl red. And then this guy, blue. So I've, I only just noticed these buttons. So I can make the white text here for Wolfhook's turn match the tokens. So white, blue, red, orange. And that's going to help me, you know, because <laughs> I'm having a problem with this mod of always doing the wrong person's turn. So I think that's why I was getting so confused because of all the, the, weird, uh, the weird colors. But now that I've got the right colors set, might be easier for me to understand what's going on. Anyway, so we start with Wolfhawk. So Wolfhawk's got three, four, five to get into here. We've got no, what have we got here? Four. You are able to travel through lakes and move cost of lakes and swamps is reduced to one this turn. Well, I may as well do it like this. So that's four, five, six. And that way I've get the extra power. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, what an excellent, excellent tile. So we have a monastery. Still green, still haven't opened up the elite units. We have a secret dungeon and we have a normal dungeon. So that is pretty awesome. Can we get more move here? We have one movement point. So if we make another three movement points, we can actually get all the way to here, which would block him, which would be awesome. Let's have a look what I've got here. So we've got four, five, six. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go one extra thing. Bam. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do one of these. So that is four, five, six, seven move. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. And we end our turn. Yablamo. Yablamo. Okay, it is now Norwez's turn. Now he has got a bazillion wounds in his deck. So we have to be careful. We do start with this guy. So. He's going to try and kill this bloke. That shouldn't be too hard, right? He only needs two block and four attack. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we go attack three. Now I'm going to go block. Actually, we'll use the crystal. Now, I just can't bring myself to discard Soul Harvest. It's just such an awesome... Well, you know, I should have taken the blue ring. Oh, well, whatever. I'll just do that. So block, block. We're attacking for three. But because it is being successfully blocked, we get plus three. So that's actually attacking for six, which means this guy is dead. Bamo, 
we are on a glade, so let's get rid of that wound and bammo. Oh, God. <laughs> so many wounds. We do have this guy here. It's a pity he's got... Oh, wait, he does have move. He's got one move only. Okay, whatever. We'll deal with that later. It is the witch's turn. Now, she... We need two move to get to here. Got no move in her hand at all. So we're just going to go one, two move. Now, is there anything we want from here? Got Meditation, Demolish, which is pretty good, and we've got Move 4. The move cost of all terrains, including lakes, is only 2. I think what I'm going to do... Oh, we need a blue card. We need a blue card to do this, don't we? Discard a card of any color. Use the basic effect of a spell of the same color. Yeah, so we're just going to... Go... 1, 2... And just move on to here. Now what have we got? We still haven't used a dice. We do have this, which gives us fire attack. Well, there's, we're in no rush. We're in no rush. So we're just going to end there and draw an extra card. We draw up to six. Bam. Okay. Now it is the dwarf's turn. And he's in a bad position. So basically, he wants to go three, six, seven, eight. So we can do this. Five. Nine. That's three, six, seven, eight. And let's get rid of this. So we are... I'm going to discard this other move. Let's end that turn. Bam. It's not a lot of good stuff there. Okay, whatever. Because we wanted to try and draw more attack cards because this guy has is now on top of a dungeon. Ah, okay. Okay. So we're back at Wolfhawk. So we're back at the second turn already. Wolfhawk is on a monastery. So the first thing is we don't want to buy a unit because it depowers this amazing card. So what we want to do, what have we got? We've got a wound. We've got a bunch of attack and we've got an awesome block and we've got a five block here. So I think we are going to attack and raise this monastery. So the way this works, if you attack a monastery, uh, it should be written here, right? You draw a gr uh, you draw a purple mage tower token, but it's not fortified. You can't use units. We don't care. We don't have units. But if we win, we actually get an artifact, which is awesome. So let's see if we can do this. Oh wait, I've got to press the button up here. Right here we go. Bam. Oh, he's got. Arcane Resistance. He's got Poison and he's got Assassination. Assassination doesn't worry us. That just means it bypasses units. It just goes straight to the player. And Poison is sort of double damage almost. We only need to beat him for six. So that is just, what, five, six. So we've blocked. And now we need to attack back for six. And that is also super easy because we've got Sword of Justice. When you play this card, discard any number of cards from your hand to get attack three. So we just need to go three, six. And that, my friends, is that. And we did use Sword of Justice, so we get plus one fame, which you can actually do here, which is awesome, I just realized. And I think that is the end of that. Bammo. Uh, yep. But we gain a sight reward. And remember, it's an artifact. So, bam. What have we got here? We have a banner unit. We don't use units in this guy, so it's automatically discarded. Instead, we get Book of Wisdom. Throw away an action card from your hand, gain an advanced action card. 
from the advanced actions offered to your hand that is the same color. Throw away an action card from your hand, game a spell from the spell, oh, whatever. So Book of Wisdom is just a really good version of training. I'm a big fan of throwing away cards. And that's that, Reclaim Awards. You blammo. Still didn't level up. Where is she? Well, she is absolutely caning it. Poor old Athena. Go on. Come on, witch. Norwes, your turn. He is stuck on this stupid glade. Uh, he only needs two to get in there. So basically, we can heal in the village for three, and we are currently rep zero, so it is three to heal. So we have plus one move there. So basically, he's going to go, what is that, influence four, plus this is three. This thing can be discarded for three uh, influence. So that is four, five, six, seven, and we only need six to do that. So all we need is two move. So we've got one move, and we discard this for two move. Okay, so to recap, this thing here gives us one move. We discarded that for one move, so that's two move. That gets us into the village. And then I did influence four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, what have we got to buy? Have we got anything to buy? Oh, we've got foresters. Five, so we need 11 influence total. Can we make 11 influence? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. How much do we need? 11. Yep, we're going to do this instead. So we do this instead. That's one move. This is now two move. Then we're going to pay four influence using this. Plus, we're going to use a dice to get five influence. And we use this for three. So that's four, five, six, seven, plus five is 12. That is two heals, three, six. And that leaves us with six more rep, which we're going to use to buy the Forester. Bam. Okay, I'm very happy with that. So we healed ourselves two. We got an extra thing. So now this thing here, because there's two untapped units, that is actually two permanent move. So he should be able to move around a lot easier now. And that's that. So the way this works is minus one reputation. So we go lose one rep. And we also get plus one fame and plus one rep. So plus one fame and plus one rep. And that's the end of that. You blammo. You blammo. Still got wounds in hand. <laughs> oh, I can finally use improvisation to get rid of this training, uh, get rid of this. Uh, I can finally use training to get rid of improvisation, which is a card I hate. I hope there's a good red one. Oh, and we've got decompose here too. <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, it is now Athena's turn, and Athena is basically going to do the same thing. Maybe, actually, maybe she will buy something. What have we got up to here to buy? We do have the familiar. The familiars are actually really cool, but you, if you don't have active uh, crystal generation, which at the moment we don't, it's a problem. This thing is also very good because it gives us crystal regeneration. So, and it also allows you to uh, stop unfortified enemies attacking, which is particularly strong in Rampage. So we need seven influence. Can we make seven influence? We've got no influence of any sort. Oh, yes, we do. Anything of this give us influence? No. Hmm. This gives us influence. So that's four, five, six, seven. Bam. Four, five, six, seven. We are rep zero, so we don't have any anything against us. So we get this card here. 
And I'm going to discard this guy. Actually, what's this? Throw away. I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to discard this card in turn. Actually, you know what I might do? Blue. Move four. So I could have done... I do want to stay on there. Oh, wait. What about this thing? I could have fought this at the beginning of the turn, couldn't I? So that's five attack. Okay, let me let me redo this. I'm going to attack this guy. We're going to leave that for the end of the turn. We don't have this guy. Okay. So this is three to block, th uh, six to block, three damage, which is one wound, and we need five to kill. So that should be pretty easy. So I'm just going to go bam. Discard another action card depending on its color. You get five attack for red. So that kills him. And all I need is three block. So if I just do that and that is three block. Oh, uh, no, I need six six block, don't I? Uh, that's four block. What do I do if I get blue? Blue, I get ice attack three for blue. That's no good. Okay, so I'm going to go... Yeah, so basically, I'm just going to do what I did before. So I take one wound into my hand from this. So I did not block it. And then I just go attack for five. I then go four, five, six, seven. And that gets this thing. And if I can create another two influence, because you heal for two in unit. So if I can make another two influence, which all I need to do is discard two cards. I'm just gonna discard two cards. I don't like the spells that we've got available, so I'm gonna get rid of the box. So that is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine influence. This only costs seven. We got another two, which allows us to heal. End this turn, bam. Finally, we leveled up, gaining the steel token. What have you got for us? Oh, dude, we're taking this. This is a great thing. So basically, now that we've got this, there's only one more skill she needs to be amazing, which is the one where any color can be the opposite color. Bam. So we're getting that one. And we get a new advanced action card. Oh, this is something else, by the way. When you level up traditionally in the game, you're supposed to only take the last action card on the offer. You can't take any action card. I know I, I always do. Like I play a, a custom rule so often that I've forgotten it wasn't the real rules until someone pointed it out in the comments. But you can only take it from the last one. It's just that it's it's unfun, I think. I think the reason they did it is to sort of just retard a little the advantage you get from leveling up when other people haven't leveled up. But it's just a lot more fun as a player to take a cool card that you like and then have a good card you like in your deck rather than having a card that doesn't suit the way you want to play. So I play that you can take any. And you can't actually take them from the monastery offer. He's not letting you. But usually I play so you can take from the monastery offer as well during this during a level up. So I will. What have you got here? Diplomacy. I'm going to use influences block with diplomacy and agility. That would be a great one for Norway's to get. We've got shield block that gives us swiftness blocks as well. You know, I don't really want to use decompose. I'm just going to claim shield block. And that's the end of that turn. Bam. It's now Yig's turn. Yig is on... A, okay, what has he got? He's got four attack. He's got a five block. He's got a lot of crystals and he's got a blue. So he's got a, any color crystal here. Okay, so this is pretty good. So he is going to go for it. Yeah, blammo. Attack the monster. What have you got? Okay, so this has got paralyzed. That's what that statue is. And it basically means that if you take any damage, you have to discard your hand, I think, like your whole hand. So you don't get a chance to even attack back. So we have to do a six block, which shouldn't be too much of a problem because we have a five blocker right here. 
bam, five, six. And then we just need to attack back for four, which is, we'll do it like this. So I save myself a crystal. So what, uh, what have I done here? I've used two blues. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to use my crystal. That's annoying. So we'll just do that. Okay, so he attacks for six, block five, block one, that's six block, he is negated, and we attack back for four, boom, using the crystal from our inventory, and that destroys everybody, and we're ready to go, end turn, yeah, bammo, we get the conquest reward, so this is a one, bloop, and we get an artifact, excellent. Ooh, two really good cards. Really good cards. We have block seven or block four against two different targets. Now block seven is ridiculously powerful, come on. And you can even cold fire block nine if you discard it. But we also have the gem Endless Pouch, which basically means we get two crystals every time we draw this card. And I actually think this is possibly even better, especially at this stage of the game. So I'm going to take that. Oh, I don't know, block seven. Oh, it's so good. Oh, actually, maybe we will take block seven because we have a... We have a another dungeon right next to us. Yeah, we're going to take those shield. Bam. I do think that that uh, mana pouch is one of the best artifacts, especially if you get it early. Anyway, rewards claimed. You blonk. Oh, we drew a wound. That's annoying. Okay, so we're back on Wolfhurt's turn, and I'm pretty sure that's two turns, right? We did, did two turns? I can't remember if we've done two turns or not. You know, I don't think we have done two turns. Did we do two turns? I'm gonna save this and if it's an edit together and if I have done if I have done two turns I'm gonna stop, otherwise I'll come back and record another turn. So in case I don't come back, I will see you guys.